Hello, my friends. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 6, we see that the beast is blaspheming God. His name, his tabernacle, and those that dwell in the heavens. He's blaspheming them. In the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verses 1 and 2, we see the temple is being measured, and the holy city is given unto the Gentiles to tread it underfoot for three and a half years. The reason why they're doing that is the beast has come uh, to tread the wine press and trying to make it show that he's God treading the wine press. The wine press is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 20. And in the book of Lamentations chapter 1 and verse 15 says that the wine press is Judah. And you all know what Judah is. It is the place where Bethlehem, the city of David, is. In the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 14 John is seeing Israel going into the wilderness, fleeing, running out of Israel. They're given two wings of a great eagle. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 4 establishes that word with us, that God bared Israel up upon eagle wings. The book of Luke chapter 21 verses 20 through 21, Jesus is talking. He says, when you see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation is near. He's trying to tell us some revelation. That's what he's doing. He's trying to tell us some stuff. He's saying, look here, church. What, when you see, or whoever's here in that day, when you see Jerusalem come past with armies, then know that the desolation is near. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15. Now, Daniel chapter 11 and verse 31 says that this thing's going to have an army and he's going to take away the daily sacrifice and he's going to set up the abomination of desolations. Now, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 11 says, The time, Daniel's given us a time, that the daily sacrifice is taken away, and the abomination is set up, there shall be a thousand and two hundred and ninety days. The Holy Spirit says, This is how long of a time the beast has from when he is standing in the holy place confessing to be God. He is the abomination spoken by Daniel standing in the holy place. That's his time he has left once he is revealed in the temple. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 6, we see him blaspheming God. And the reason why he is blaspheming God is because Revelation chapter 11 and verse 3, the two witnesses are here. How long? For 1,260 days prophesizing. And not only prophesizing, in verse 5, fire is coming out of their mouth. And it'll devour their enemies. Verse 6, they shut the heavens that it doesn't rain for three and a half years. They turn the water into blood. And they smite the earth with all kinds of plagues. That's some power right there. That's the power of God. Now, in Revelation chapter 16, verse 11. Now, this is the wrath of God right here. But I want to establish the word that the beast is blaspheming God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and they repent not. We see in Revelation chapter 16 and 9 that they were even scorched with great heat and yet they still blasphemed God over the plagues. They repented not. Boy, something's wrong with you when God's pouring this out upon you and you won't turn to God. Something's wrong with you indeed. Now in the book of Revelation, what did we see? We see in Revelation 13 and 6, the beast who is claiming that he's God. He's come down from heaven. He's saying, I'm God. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. He's saying, I'm God. I'm sitting in the seat of God. This is what the Holy Spirit told me. Why is he claiming that he's God while he is blaspheming God of heaven, his name? his tabernacle, and those in heaven. The Holy Spirit said even the beast knows that he is not God. Hallelujah. He knows there's a God. Amen. He knows there's a God of heaven, and he knows his tabernacle and those that dwell in the heavens. Woo, that beast had told off on himself. Now really, church, if you're down here claiming to be God, why are you bringing any kind of reference to another God? Because he knows there's a God. And he knows that God is pouring out those plagues upon him. That's right. Now this was something. Watch this church. The Holy Spirit spoke to me today and I love him. He talks to me just like I talk to you. 
The Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, Did you think your God of heaven was just going to sit back and allow that blasphemer to take the holy city, the temple mount, and do nothing? Oh no, Donna. Your God will not just sit back. He will send a fire upon the earth and plagues. He will plague this earth with many plagues in those days. In the days of the beast is what the Holy Spirit of God said. Now listen to this, church. In the book of Revelation, chapter 7 and 3, we see the seal of God is put upon the servants of God's forehead. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verses 4, 5, and 6, we see that those that have the mark upon them will live. But those that do not have the mark of, the, of, the, of God on their forehead, not the mark of the beast, God will put a mark upon his servant's forehead. It is the seal of God. It is the name of God. And when those with the slaughtering weapons in their hands go through the city and see the abominations that are done, when they see those that do not have the name of God, the mark on their foreheads, they'll slay them. That's why God's sealing the 144,000 because those four angels that come up, I promise you are not the ones that will kill the 144,000. It will be the beast that does that. Now in Revelation chapter 9 verses 1, through 4 and verse 20. We see the locusts came out of hell. The locusts were to hurt men. Which have not the seal of God in their forehead. Proverbs 9 chapter. I'm, I'm sorry. Revelation chapter 9 and 11 says. The, it is the locusts king. So the locusts have a king. Proverbs 30 chapter 30 and verse 27 says. The locusts do not have a king. So these are not locusts. They are the Assyrians' army. Nahum chapter 3 and verse 17 and 18. And Ezekiel chapter 32 and verse 23. We see the Assyrian is indeed in hell with his army. So we see in the great tribulation. God will send plagues upon the earth. And that's why the beast is blasphemy in the name of God. Revelation 13 and 6. Revelation chapter 9 and verse 20. Revelations chapter 11 and verse 5 and verse 6. Now here we go, church. In the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15, Jesus is telling us, When you see the abomination spoken by Daniel standing in the holy place, see, he's warning us. We see in Matthew chapter 24, verses 16 through 20, Israel is fleeing into the wilderness. She's running out of her nation because she's compassed with armies. We see that in the book of Luke chapter 21 and 20 through verse 24, Jesus says, Woe to those that are with child in those days, for it is the days of wrath upon this people. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12 says, Satan has come down unto you having great wrath. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22, Jesus is talking about the days being shortened after the abomination is there. Why is the days being shortened? Because Jesus is trying to tell you that's how long the beast has. When you see the abominations uh, of desolations, you know that Daniel chapter 12 and verse 11, it says from the time the abominations is set up, there's a thousand and two hundred and ninety days. That's all the days that the beast will have. He will have a thousand and two hundred and ninety days. And that's going to be the end of him after those days are fulfilled. So that's what John is seeing. John is seeing Israel compass with armies. Because Israel will be taken and they'll be fleeing into the mountains and fleeing into the other nations to get out of there. Because it will be the time of the Gentiles. And the Gentiles will be given. Do you hear me church? They're going to give the holy city to the Gentiles. That's right. And the Gentiles are going to tread it for three and a half years. And we see the reason why the beast is blasphemy in the name of God, which he knows does a God of heaven. Praise the name of Jesus. The beast is testifying. Do you hear me, church? He's announcing there's a God. Amen. That's what it says. It says in Revelation chapter 13 and verse 6, he blasphemed the name of God. He knows the name of God. He blasphemed his tabernacle. He knows the tabernacle of God. And he blasphemed 
those that dwell in the heavens. He knows them. That's right. So what does that tell you? The beast is no God. He himself knows who the true God of heaven is. Glory. Hallelujah. And he's a blasphemy in his name because God is plaguing him. He ain't just going to sit up there getting away with it. God's going to rain down fire. God's going to plague the earth with plagues in those days. He's going to shut the heavens if they don't have any water to drink. He's going to turn the water into blood. Our God ain't just sitting back, church. Our God is a man of war. Our God will run to the battle because God's not afraid of nothing. For God is God and he's God alone. There is no gods before him or no gods after him. He is the only true God. And he's going to show his power in the last days. Amen. Church, we serve a mighty God. We serve a God of power. All our God's got to do is speak the word. And it goes out and accomplishes what he sends it out to do, it doesn't come back void. We serve a mighty God. And even the beast knows he's God. Amen. He knows there's a God of heaven. God bless you, church. I hope you like this revelation from the Holy Spirit of God.